one question for you guys out there. Who wants to walk with Doohop? I said, who wants to walk with Doohop? None of you guys out there are hollering. Just, you want to walk with Doohop? That's a damn shame, man. All right, either way, sorry. It's time to get to moving on some lucha. So let me get rid of this here. Sweet guitar. Because we were walking with Doohop, get it? All right, yeah, terrible. Let's move on. Let's get to moving on some lucha underground. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. No. God damn it. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. up here the most electrifying man on youtube entertainment it is friday and if you guys been hanging out with do up long enough you guys know that it is time to get to moving talking lucha underground every wednesday 8 p.m on the l ray network lucha underground is bringing us the most badass action this side of the mississippi yesterday's episode was absolutely no exception to the rule as every match if it didn't deal with a championship belt, it had championship consequences. And well, if you guys want to find out what Two Up is talking about, stick around because it's time to talk lucha. Back when El Dragon Azteca Jr. won the Gift of the Gods championship belt, he made a bunch of promises. First and foremost, he was going to be a fighting champion. Secondly, he's going to take that Gift of the Gods championship belt all the way to Ultima Lucha Cuatro, and he's going to cash in and get his Lucha Underground Championship match against whomever the champion may be at that time. And well, I'll be damned if this man hasn't been keeping his promises. That's right, the opening contest on this week's episode of Lucha Underground was for the gift of the gods championship belt as El Dragon Azteca Jr. defend against Eva Lee. That's right, the baddest bitch in the building is back and she is taking on El Dragon Azteca Jr. for that gift of the gods championship belt belt and well talk about lucha this match was lucha libre on display each one of these contestants was using everything that they had in their arsenal to destroy their opponent from flying over ropes submission holds and like i said that lucha libre wrestling action that we have come to love in lucha underground and well right here this is where the match took a turn. El Dragon Azteca Jr. on the top rope flies to the outside. And well, when Eva Lee's move, he smashed his face on that steel banister, you know, going up the steps of the temple that holds back all the believers there to watch the action. Eva Lee's capitalizing and throws El Dragon Azteca Jr. back in the ring, delivers the sunset bomb one, two, and he kicks up. I thought that that was the end right there. El Dragon Azteca Jr. had other plans as he finally delivers this huge punishing leg drop off the top rope and gets the win one two three pinning Eva Lise and still Lucha Underground gift to the gods championship belt is around El Dragon Azteca Jr. Unbelievable action. Second match of the night was nothing to blink your eyes at man because I'll tell you one thing King Cuerno has made it known to everybody uh was it last week or the week before either way he came out and he is the hunter and he is hunting Lucha Underground Gold as he destroyed Pentagon Dark not too long ago he's on the hunt for that belt but there is one man one man standing in his way and he does not like King Cuerno at all Oh, that's right, King Cuerno in the ring as the owner and promoter, Dar Ooh, I almost said Dario, that was his son. Antonio Cueto delivers a message to King Cuerno in the ring telling him that this match tonight is for all the marbles as his opponent, Mil Muertes, makes his way to the ring. This match has championship consequences because the winner of King Cuerno and Will Muertes is going to go on to face Pentagon Dark next week for the Lucha Underground Championship. And, well, talk about a barn burner. King Cuerno, Mil Muertes, not holding back and beating the living hell out of each other, whether it was in the ring or out of the ring. Again, these two let it rip. And I'll tell you, it came down to this brutal Back and forth, nobody giving up. Relentless fist fight on the outside where the 
senior referee Marty Elias was trying to get the action back in the ring, telling King Cuerno, telling Will Martes, take it back in the ring, get it back inside. And the two of them were so pissed off at Marty Elias for breaking up their fist fight that they both took Marty and shoved him right into all the chairs, right into all the believers. And then they went back to fist fighting. Well, that's all it took for senior referee Marty Elias to get so pissed that he rang the bell and disqualified the two of them. Since when do we have disqualifications in Lucha Underground, man? I, this might be the first time I've ever seen a match end on DQ. There's no rules in Lucha Underground. That's bullshit. It's like GTS. There's only rules when you want there to be, apparently. And, well, tonight there was rules because this match ended. No contest. Double DQ. And people were pissed. That's when the owner and promoter of Lucha Underground, Antonio Cueto, comes back down to the ring. Microphone in hand. And he says, you know, you guys did a great job killing each other. But... I love violence, and they, considering there's no winner here in this contest, the two of you are going to go head-to-head -head against Pentagon Dark next week in a triple threat for Lucha Underground Championship. That is something in itself to tune into next week as this match ends in a double DQ, but both men are still going to get their chance at Lucha Underground Gold as they take on Pentagon Dark next week. Week. Rolling on with the fact that every one of these matches is either for championship gold or has championship consequences. The last match of the night was for trios gold. That's right. The Lucha Underground trios championship is on the line as the Snake Tribe, led by Cobra Moon, Jeremiah Snake, and Daga, defend those belts against Arrow Star. Against Drago and newly revived back alive Phoenix, but do a pump the brakes. Woo 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 woo. There's something wrong with Phoenix. This man is not right. He's breathing heavy. He's dressed in all black, kind of just like Do Hop. This is a Phoenix, a bird of war that we have never seen before. And he put that on display when he finally got in the ring. He was tearing the shit out of the reptile tribe. And in the end, everybody on the outside, Phoenix has all the power within his hands to go flying over the top rope and take out the reptile tribe and just ruin them. Win this match for his trios team when something goes bad. Cuckoo in Phoenix's head. Something broke. This man has snapped as Aerostar took his running ascent to dive over the top rope and take everybody out because Phoenix wouldn't. Phoenix delivers a super kick and just levels his own tag partner, Aerostar. Phoenix then delivered the fire driver to Aerostar. By golly, Monty, I thought that man was dead. And he gets up and he's just standing there. Jeremiah Snake seizes the opportunity, gets in the ring, gets the cover. One, two, three. He finishes the matchup and still Lucha Underground Trios champions, the Reptile Tribe, Cobra Moon Daga, and Jeremiah Snake. Now, what the hell is going on in Phoenix Head? We don't know. That was all the action this week on Lucha Underground, man. I hope you guys are tuning in every Wednesday, 8 p.m. on the El Rey Network. You too can be watching all the same awesome Lucha action that Do Hop is. But as for now, my watch right there clearly states... I'm out of time. I got to get to moving. So like the video. Leave some comments what you think of Lucha. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe for some more doo-wop with this badass guitar. What's up, everybody? This is Darewolf PJ Black, and I'm hanging out with my man, Dua. <laughs> and if you haven't already, subscribe to his channel, like it, you know, do whatever you do, watch it again and again and again, and also subscribe to my channel. You got anything for them? Uh, yeah, I got three words for them. <laughs> Eat it, yeah! You know them. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> do hop, do hop, do hop, do hop here. And if you like me videos, click like button, leave a little comment. It's a little button called subscribe. Click it, and a click it, and a click it. Oh, we see videos of Doohop. And me doing Roscoe. Is that right, Roscoe? Give daddy a kiss. Oh, there he is. He's such a good boy. Ah! Ah!